Well, the reason why the dub STEMI trial was conducted is that what we've seen with a second generation drug eluding stents is that they have shown an outstanding safety uh, performance and uh, in compared to the first generation drug eluding stents and that has been not only in the stable patients but also in patients with acute coronary syndromes and uh, myocardial infarctions. We have seen that the results with the primary PCI are pretty good and then uh, Considering that the dual antiplatelet therapy is also associated with a higher risk of bleeding, it is appealing to see if that could be reduced also in this kind of patients. And that was the rationale beyond this trial. What we choose for a uh, well-established drug eluding stent, uh, and that is the Zotrolimus eluding stent. The first trials were done with the Zions trial, and then recently, and then before we the, performed the, our trials, Zotrolimus has shown a strict non-inferiority towards uh, this stent, and then in a lar a different large randomized trials. So we choose this uh, stent just to have a uniform uh, platform throughout our study. So the design of uh, the trial is a uh, multi-center, uh, prospective, randomized trial, uh, non-inferiority trial. We uh, had patients uh, from uh, 18 to 85 years old. Who, under, uh, who underwent primary PCI for ST elevation myocardial infarction. We randomized 1,100 patients, and the design of the trial specified that patients that were event-free at six months would then further be randomized to either prolonging the dual antiplatelet therapy for other six months or just stop it and go on on aspirin. And the primary endpoint was fixed at 24 months after primary PCI or 18 months after randomization. Uh, we managed to randomize uh, small, uh, something like uh, 870 patients and uh, equally baselines were equally balanced between the groups and the primary endpoint met known inferiority. So uh, we can conclude that event-free patients uh, could safely stop dual antiplatelet therapy after six months even in this high-risk uh, uh, patient subgroup like the STEMI patients. Well, the current guidelines, either the ESC or American uh, guidelines, they all specify that dual antiplatelet therapy should be at least for 12 months. That is not only for the uh, stand, but also for a generic thromboembolic protection that this, the dual antiplatelet therapy offers. However, uh, we believe that we have shown that at least on a stent perspective uh, there is no need to prolong the dual antiplatelet therapy and this is originally why dual antiplatelet therapy was given after PCI or then after primary PCI. Uh, we have to consider that dual antiplatelet therapy is also associated with the risk of bleeding and while trials have shown that there is a reduction of thromboembolic events that are stent independent, uh, these reductions are of the rate of 20% relative risk reduction while the bleeding associated to that is over 200%. And some of these large trials have shown that this is also associated with a higher mortality. So as the atherosclerosis is a lifelong process, adding dual antiplatelet to that for shorter periods like other six months or even one or two years more will not really change the course of these patients. We rather should find the atherosclerosis, not the outcomes of it. Well, our research and our trial have shown in the, within the limitations of a investigator-driven trial that on a stand perspective, dual antiplatelet therapy can be safely stopped after six months in event-free patients with ST elevation myocardial infarction. Now, this is already some very important information because uh, while the role of prolonging dual antiplatelet therapy for thromboembolic protection is still being debated, might that be needed for uh, patients who are 
who need to undergo surgery or for other every reason uh, patients who have bleeding uh, problems then uh, we can show that it can be stopped even in these patients safely after six months so i think this is, has major impact furthermore it opens a new field of research because after the large trials we've seen we uh, the idea is that the dual antiplatelet therapy is needed while this again opens a page to say that maybe there is a rationale to stop uh, earlier dual antiplatelet therapy and uh, as uh, you saw today uh, during my presentation, not only mine, but there were three presentations on the same line uh, that uh, at least on the span perspective we can shorten dual antiplatelet therapy, particularly in patients who are at high risk of bleeding. Uh, building up to the body of evidence with uh, uh, shortening dual antiplatelet therapy in uh, high risk patients, I'm proud to say that we just uh, together with uh, Dr. Vindecker, uh, Dr. Azem Ladeep and under chairmanship of Dr. Greg Stone, we just launched a real global trial which will compare on extent with BioFreedom uh, both, uh, both arms on one month the dual antiplatelet therapy in patients who are at high risk of bleeding.